some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. You're good. I'm interviewing okay. you. Ah, thank you. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> it's nice to feel important. Uh, but there's something about uh, older, older games in the process of actually just like figuring stuff out via rumors and everything. I don't know if I ever told you the story. Yeah, and I had a friend friend named Davin who uh you call it, would do that all the time with random video games. Like he he's just like Yeah, you, you got got anywhere in Gotcha Force yet? And I'm just like, yeah, I, I think I'm coming coming up towards the end. And I'm like, well, watch out. Cause all the the girl characters are gonna get together and they're gonna ask you if, which one you want to pick to be your girlfriend. And you're gonna have to be prepare, prepare for that. And I was just like, oh no, I don't, I don't even know. I, I, I haven't even made any friends with any of the girls to know enough that they're gonna be my girlfriend. At the end of that game, nothing happened. Dude. <laughs> oh god, dude, it's about as bad as like the, like the Mew and the truck shit. Like, oh yeah, there's been like a cornucopia of so many of those that I had to deal with. Like, uh, like, unlockable characters, like, yeah, dude, like, you can unlock Luigi and Super Mario 64, or you could, like, cross boobies. That was, like, the big one. It's like, yeah, uh, dude, yeah. there's a cheat code where, like, but my dad knows what it is, because he works for fucking whoever the fuck developed it. Who gives a fuck now, but you know what I mean? Like, there was always that fucking, that kid whose, like, uncle was Stone Cold Steve Austin, who's also dad works for Tony Hawk, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I, I think there's a magical element about that just because, like, you- I go on YouTube now for a game that comes out and just- it's just like, Hey, do you want to see the final boss? And I'm just like, No, YouTube! Cal calm down! Chill out! <laughs> yeah, there's no ambiguity. I haven't even- <laughs> Yeah. Like, there's no mystery there's no secret to a game. <laughs> yeah. I now know everything that happens on, like, within- three hours of a game releasing and I, I hate it. I hate it immensely. <laughs> and then you wait 24 hours and Matt Pat will tell you about the lore that may or may not actually pertain to the fucking thing. Yeah. Ugh. And that's a whole other game of worms because either did you call it friggin' they they go go in and just go like, hey Matt Pat, come on, you, you wanna play our video game? Or they go like Please, Matt Pat, don't play our video game. Don't play our video game. And it's just like, all right, time for the 30 minute video on all about the lore of this video game. And they're just like, fuck. Yeah. Like, <laughs> None of this is real. None of this is real. <laughs> Hang on. But that's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> yeah. How many games have you, that you can think of now that like, you just didn't bother playing just because overexposure alone. Like, really hype games uh, that you really look forward to, but due to overexposure and, like, over-thumbnailing and, like, just even any form of media, just fucking ruining it. You go, I, I won't say that I've ever been turned off enough on a, like, uh, game that, that I was excited for. It's always games that I, like, might have had an interest but would you call it like there's so much information about it everywhere that i'm just like all right i'm i've absorbed enough of this osm osmosis and everything like metal gear i i know a lot about without actually playing the video games so many people talk about metal gear and i'm just like all right yeah i just know what metal gear is now yeah. i know what happens from metal gear 1 to metal gear 5. Snake Eater is still the best, though. We That's my personal favorite. We chillin' on the red favorite. carpet. We bout to get it started. Yeah, you know how we do. The flow is so retarded. I don't That's even know if I can say two, it like that, right? but I'm gonna say it anyway three. and go right back to the Not basics. Not three, okay. okay. The one where, uh, with Big Boss, and, like, you got Revolver Ocelot, and he's not, like, you know... Yeah, whatever fucking Ocelot he becomes. Like, Liquid Cheetah, or yeah. whatever the fuck. <laughs> liquid Cheetah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Oh, uh, guys. Like, I don't know if you you had ADHD as a kid, but oh yeah, did you call it like? Uh, for me, going into the genre of RPG where there's just text boxes upon text boxes, and the rest of your experience of video games is just like, just play the video game. 
going into that, I would just mash through dialogue and not care. Dude, I literally and went then... on a rant about that. And it was uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver. Like, please tell me oh, yeah. why it takes me 30 minutes before I ever get to catch a fucking Pokemon because of dialogue boxes. I kid you yeah. not, I clocked it. I clocked it. 30 minutes till you ever get to catch your first Pokemon. You call it, and you got got that little tutorial with the old man just like, You wanna sh you want me to show you how to play Pokemon even though you played the last Pokemon and it's exactly the same? <laughs> it's not great. Uh, I think that's a problem with a lot of RPGs though. I don't, I don't think we, we've ever talked about Persona. Uh, vaguely. We vaguely touched on it. Yeah, so the my favorite moment is because Persona 3 is all about death and uh, just like the ending of things. So you, all of your uh, social links have to do with someone either dying or the end of something. So do you call it, you go to, to a bookstore and you're, they're just like, ah, yeah, do you call it, thanks for coming in our bookstore. Can you help us out with some things? And you just go like, yeah, I'll help you out with some things. You're just like, and the owner goes like, yeah, you're you're great. Nothing like our good for nothing son. And then the wife just goes like, honey, our son died like two years ago. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. And you're just like, uh, and you're just like, oh, yeah. And then Why? It happened. Why? Yeah. You go over to the park and there's a little girl playing and you're just hanging hanging out like helping the the little girl down the slide and stuff and she just slides down the slide and she just goes my parents are getting divorced and you're just like oh okay <laughs> this is what this video game is Wait, isn't the, i might be wrong but wasn't that the game that was controversial because it showed a scene of a guy getting a power up by shooting himself in the fucking head uh yes uh it is uh, the whole whole power system is around uh, shooting yourself with an energy gun that like <laughs> forces out your persona. So everyone is just doing stylish ways to shoot yourself in the face. <laughs> Imagine like friggin' uh, loud hip hop music with with trumpets and everything. Okay. <laughs> And then just someone just like pulling out a gun, putting it to their head, and just like persona. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I used to play it on shift when I when I worked uh, monitoring a, a computer lab and everything. I had a PlayStation Two emulator on my laptop. Nice. And yeah, but like I'm watching a, the computer lab full of kids, making sure they don't go on any porn or watch any anything blood in it and would you call it just like there's a kid like looking over my shoulder watching me play it and he's just like did that kid just shoot shoot himself in the head okay you're, you're gone we're gone get out of here leave 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 <laughs> you are too much in my business and you're going to get me fired that that that'll, that'll become a cryptic media we have like the fucking Justin Wang guy or whatever, like the twenty yeah. years talking about that. Like it's nothing. Calm down. Ugh. So we had a had a story about a suicide game down down at the two thousands. <laughs> it came out on the PS one. I I love Justin Wang's videos. <laughs> but hold ah. on, we, we got a comment from uh, Ward Man. Did y'all see the vid where a couple of months ago where he punked everyone, where he just filmed an empty room for 20 minutes? Ooh, ooh. Yes, it was the Freakazoid, uh, <laughs> Freakazoid video. And <laughs> to not in initiate the bit, I will not <laughs> refer to the villain he talked about in that video. <laughs> Oh, are you referring to Invisible? Oh, no! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was about to say, it's just like, we both know! We both know! <laughs> Invisible. Where did he go? That Invisible! Invisible? Oh, gosh. Uh -huh. I need to do an animal watching of that. Freakazoid's so good. Freakazoid's so, so good. <laughs> 
Freaky Zooli, why did you say his name? Well, I wanted to be be like that scene where the colonel's just like, what? <laughs> I'm not gonna put on that dress. I'm not gonna put on that dress. And it does the doo -doo, and he's in the dress. <laughs> Janae, where can they find you? And how frequently uh, can they find you? Do you call it? <laughs> that's <laughs> that's a different <laughs> different answer. Uh, you can find me. Uh, all my social links. Uh, find me at my my all my social links are uh, solo.to forward slash Um uh, That's that's gonna be like my my Twitch, my uh, YouTube, my uh, Instagram, my Twitter. Uh, you can find me on Twitter retweeting other people's art <laughs> because I really like art. <laughs> well, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, you can find me actively either in my Instagram story or uh, what do you call it like my Twitter retweeting tweeting art. Uh, I'm trying to get more more videos and stuff out out there, especially my podcast. I like interviewing people, but now I've accumulated enough interviews where I'm just like I have to get some of them out or I can't do any more. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, did you call it? Hopefully this is this is e easy and in, easy out. Oh yeah, no, it looks like a streamlined process. Uh, honestly, this is probably one of uh, the best shows I had for a while, man. And also, I would like to have you back here. And I, I, I give it about, uh, and you know what, in eight to twelve months from now, I want to have okay. you back on this show, okay? And at that time, yeah. I want you to have accomplished something very grand. Can you do that for it'll, me? It'll happen. I believe it'll that, happen. That's how much faith I believe in this man right here. That this this beautiful animated being Thank will, you. will release <laughs> something that will like be groundbreaking. Beautiful. By <laughs> uh, but yeah, something definitely uh, grand will, will happen between now, now and then. Whether it be something grand with the open mic, uh, grand with music, grand with, with videos and everything. Something's gonna happen. McNasty and Maj Day Part 2 coming soon. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. Do you call it... <laughs> Do you call it friggin' I, I'm also down down to, to work on anything else you, you want, want to ha have me on. I am ever happy to, to work, work with you. No problem. Uh, yeah, man, thank you for uh, stopping by on this show, and I hope you have a great rest of the evening, and yeah. Uh, feel free to add any DMs of anything else you want us to plug, and I'll be more than happy to do it for you. We'll do. Alrighty. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. I I'm gonna go after he does, but you'll get the idea. Bye. Mode. Thank you guys for uh, stopping by, and uh, wow, that went a little bit more swimmingly than I thought. If you guys uh, want to reach him uh, in the post. In the highlight video, I will be more than happy to link everything on there and anything additional that Mr. Majine Man wants to do. And uh, on that note, good night. Whee! the worst every day's an L that I'm taking it's a curse show me some night that I tell you that's a first but I come with the bar so I guess I'm well first I'm ecstatic over dramatic about living under bridges think about all the people that I dating other fishes if you tell me that I'll do it I'm fine with doing the dishes I swear that I'm responsible my life just proves different I've been in my feelings several different times in the past year making money and suddenly not in the past year honestly been going through a lot in the past year but honestly thank you for all I got in my friends here I'ma fall into a hole of obscurity eating nearly whole by my own insecurities 
Used to be the future, now the present puts the fear in me I'm just trying to make it custom sick Are you hearing me? I'm serious My short term goal is looking longer by the minutes Where I gotta squint my eyes if I'm looking at the finish If you're interested in the mess of a boy, you can get it Everything's a tragedy and I can't ever finish Reddit Unfortunately, I won't get work off on my birthday Hopefully, I'm not getting laid off on my birthday Everything seems to fall apart just not in the worst way Life's not fair and that, that kind of hurts me My name is Jonathan, the people shouting at my last name to where I get shot if you catch me in the wrong lane If I vote Burnham song, I'm basically just the right brain I'm working really hard to be the rap game Cold train! Rap game care, wanna live a quiet life But my problem's so loud that they hard in the mic Spiraling so hard that I might bite the dust I was already dead, I was just a walking hut It's 